In example 5, they tell us that h of x is equal to the rational function sine of x divided by f of x. Now note that what they've given us in the graph here is not a graph of h of x. This is just simply a graph of f of x. And so we're going to be building um, a, a composite function using a graphical representation of f. So this is a piecewise function and um, it is composed of a linear equation over a given interval and a what appears to be a quadratic equation over another interval or rather quadratic function and linear function. So anyway they want us to find the equation of the tangent line to the graph of h of x when x equals 0 and so the first thing I know I've got to do is differentiate this function h of x so maybe that would be the best place to start. Let's find out what h prime of x is. So h prime of x and in this case we're going to be using the quotient rule so maybe it would be good to um, take a moment to remember the quotient rule if we take the derivative of the top times the bottom so it's going to be f of x times the derivative of the top so f of x times the derivative of sine of x would be cosine of x minus the top times the derivative of the bottom so that's going to be sine of x times f prime of x and then we're going to divide by f of x squared and so put that in square brackets and that is also a fraction. Alright well let's see what's going on here so now they want to know uh, all of this is going to be relevant for x equals 0. So at x equals 0 maybe we can uh, find out some things. f of x, uh, f of 0 times cosine of 0 minus sine of 0 times f prime of 0 over f of 0 squared and f of 0 is 3.5 times cosine of 0 so you can get this from your calculator or the unit circle but at uh, x equals 0 um, cosine is equal to 1 and sine of 0 is equal to 0 times f prime of 0 over f of 0 which is 3.5 I'm going to square that and so we end up with uh, 3.5 minus 0 over 3.5 squared and so one of the 3.5's cancel and I get 1 over 3.5 2 over 7 multiplying top and bottom by 2 so next we might want to think about what our y-intercept would be now that we've got the slope um, so h of 0 is going to be the sine of 0 divided by f of 0 which is the sine of 0 is 0 divided by f of 0 is 3.5 which is just equal to 0 and so my tangent line is going to be y equals the slope 2 sevenths times x plus the y-intercept but the y-intercept is 0 so here we have our equation for, sorry, tangent line.